What's up, dudes? Happy fun day Monday. Uh, Monday mail day was pretty cool. I just got the mail. Quick do a video here. And uh, before I get started, on a recap of hookups, TTM. I don't think I, I, don't think I have any trades today. But uh, hookups and TTMs today. I'm going to break one of them that I got today. I'm going to break this dandy on camera. Kind of excited. It could be a major letdown or it could be really, really freaking cool. So we'll see how it goes. But I want to start out uh, Monday here with a shout out from my guy, Chris Davis. He just started up his YouTube stuff, posting his returns, his collections. You can see he's got NFL, he's got some NBA and MLB, but most importantly, right down here, some UFC returns. Uh, he had some 157, I think, successes. And he's got stuff for trade, so network with that guy. Just a big shout out for my guy Chris, uh, good good online pal of mine, and uh, yeah. So just give him give him a sub, check out his videos, network with him, and do some trades and just whatever. You know how it goes. So I wanted to give Chris a big shout out, get his channel going. Looks like he's got seven subbers and uh, stuff like that. So. He's a legit dude, so if you're sub to me, sub to him, and uh, network with him, and build your collections or whatever. So, with that out of the way, I'll show you the T. No, I'll show you the hookup I got from um, my guy Matt. Um, sent me some stuff just just because, pretty much. Didn't. Uh, I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to have what he sent though. He sent me some base cards. You know me. I love my base, so I got rolls through these. Edgar, Paul Harris, Sakara. Guy's just got some really cool tats. I think that's just about. I think that's the only thing I like about the guy. This Japanese guy or, or Korean dude. Uh, this one's good. I, I'm gonna TTM this one. I'd like to get a, a Hazlet replacement. He used a a beat up. Silver and the one that I got. Nick Osipchek. It's a cool UK guy. Kevin the Monster Randleman. And Frank Lester. An old tough competitor. I think he's at Jackson's and stuff out there. So Matt, thanks for the base cards. And even better yet sent me off some fancy promo action. Oh, you know what? I left one out. Brutal knockout this weekend. Good to see Vanderlei hang in there versus Stan. Was really close to being finished, but uh, hung in there. And this is the old, the old looking the old looking Vanderlei with all the scar tissue and the crushed nose and stuff. He looks a lot different now, I, I think, personally. But, uh, Check out some of this stuff. Look at this. I don't know if I got the range here. Let me close my laptop. Got a Patrick Cote Hayabusa signed promo. That that thing is like a uh, six by six or something. Just a square one. Then his quickness, swickness, Mike Swick. Old school UFC promo, and this thing. I was so happy to get this, Matt. This is just crazy cool. Look at this. What do you guys say for the win? A hoist, Royce Gracie. Just a really, really, really cool. Um, actually, it's a pride promo. It's not personalized or anything. So, Matt, this is so gross. It's awesome. Appreciate it a lot. We've got to figure out what, how to mat this. I'll probably mat this with a uh, with some tops cards and put that up on the wall downstairs. So, super big hookup. Thanks, a mill, Matt. You're a cool dude. Good luck on your TTMs, brother. And uh, looking for some good stuff coming in the mail for you from your TTM. Um, speaking of TTM, I'm gonna segue over to that. We've got a nice return. On Friday, from the Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Antonio Silva. 
I put this one in a penny sleeve so the ink didn't get rubbed, rubbed off anymore. None other than Bigfoot, Antonio Silva, the hype train killer. First he takes down a one-legged, uh, what is that guy, Travis Brown. I was so happy to get this card back. He confirmed he had his mail from a while ago and then didn't return anything. And then uh, I hit him up again a week or so ago, just curious if he had any plans to sign. And then these showed up on Friday. Other people got some, I think other people got 157 stuff back. But this was care of uh, AT, ATT down in Coconut Creek. But uh, really happy to get this. I have his moment of truth, and I actually just traded my pal Neil for, um, I think, the 2012 knockout. So I'll be looking for that this week in the mail, maybe tomorrow. So nicely signed on the bottom with Bigfoot, but just a really great card by Tops. So that was a nice return. That took, I think I sent that the last day of August. So that's kind of a long return. Well, sort of. And then this one came in the mail today. This one, you check out the stamp, the metered stamp from the self-service machine, October of uh, 2011. I sent this to um, Extreme Couture right before his camp ended for his last UFC fight, which I didn't know would be his last UFC fight, but he lost it and got cut. Um, and it was interesting that after all this time, Tyson Griffin still had or has U UFC promos. So I got a Tyson Griffin UFC signed promo. And uh, this is see, this is kind of how when I when I send my keepers, um, I tell them that they can keep it or trade me for a different one of theirs. I don't really ask them to trade them anymore. I usually just say this one's this one's for you to keep if you want. And he didn't want to keep it. He sent it back signed. So I got a bunch of um, Tyson Griffin for trade now. Um, he signed three of three for me and then two for a friend. And I think um, my pal Mike has these already. So we'll see. But these are signed real nice. And uh, this one's pretty cool. I, didn't, I forgot I had this card and sent this one. So it's cool to get that. And then um, sign 2 of 2 for my buddy. Above that, a moment of, not a moment of truth, a main event and a round 4. But um, yeah, it's cool to get that. So nice to get a, a UFC promo and a bunch of cards back from Tyson. I think I got Tyson not long ago, like last week or something. I don't, I don't know, I forget. So now, on to... The TTM that came today. This could be a bust like the Dennis Seaver by a venue that I had. You guys remember that video? I had Dennis Seaver sign my cardboard and not the cards. This could really be bad or it could be really freaking awesome. Let me see here. Oh, there's one sign for sure. So he didn't. I thought this fighter could have easily have sent these cards back unsigned. And this was a pretty quick. Pretty quick uh, return, too. You guys can see my metered stamp here is uh, February 13th. I think I sent it, shoot, not even maybe a week ago at the most. Check this out. I'll slow roll the first one. I hope the second one's signed, too. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I got a little inscription on it, too. Sorry, I'm nerding out. <laughs> got a little date got David on there and then snap or nap Frank Mir Frank you're awesome I really appreciate this this is huge so far so good hopefully the other one got signed too but uh, I saw he sent, he uh, was being sort of the table jockey at Arnold's the Arnold Classic was being stingy, so my pal was only getting one of one. Oh, and check this out. I, I peeked. It's signed, too. Oh, and he switched up markers. Dude, this is huge. I'm sort of geeked inside. So, 
Frank Mir has not had an address to... Looks like a boob. Look at this. Dude. Boob for the win. Um, oh, man. That's so freaking awesome. He switched up markers and everything. I think that that's pretty cool that he did that. This one could easily have been done in black or not done at all. So, uh, snap or nap on this one. And he signed uh, snap or nap on my pal's uh, 8x10s also. So... Pretty good mail day. I'd say it's kind of a mojo for me. Uh, Frank Muir hasn't had an address to mail to in Vegas. So I'm really stoked to get two Frank Muirs back today on a Monday. It's kind of a mojo Muir Monday mail day. I'm going to end on that. So uh, I think I got everything anyways in the video. So that's it. Later.